What's up guys, Zach Miner here for Rev3 Games. I am here with Matt Pryor, the line producer for FIFA 13, and we just got our first look at FIFA 13 on the Wii U. Uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about how you guys are taking advantage of the new hardware with FIFA. For the first time, uh, for a long time on a Nintendo console, it really allows a Nintendo users to have a game uh, on par with the 360 and PS3. Now the Wii U really bridges that gap. So does it look better than the PS3 or 360 versions? Um, I'll let you be the judge of that. It's certainly on par and we have been able to uh, make a couple of features a little more detailed. So we want to focus on things that mean the most to the user. So the pitch when you're playing the game is obviously something you're staring at like 90% of your time. Right. So we've improved the pitch, it's a lot more detailed. And also the crowd, we often get uh, hear from the fans on the forum, we, we, we try and listen to as much as we can, they, they, they feel they could improve the crowd. So we've got double the resolution in the crowd. So you're playing the active mode with the gamepad. What are you seeing on the gamepad screen as you're playing? So that's entirely up to you. So it defaults currently to the gameplay. So it basically just uh, replicates what you're seeing on the, on the upper screen, on the lower screen. Now obviously with a touchscreen passing, shooting, set pieces and player runs, there's more stuff you can do on that screen. But then we've got a tab system whereby you can pick from one of six tabs to what to show. So we've got the manager, that's the interactive radar which has the player names. You can tap on a player and see his stats, you see the match stats throughout. You can really kind of dive into the game there and analyze how things are going with a view to ultimately making changes elsewhere. So then the other one is we've got the substitutions tab. You can make subs on the fly without interrupting the game. You can check how your player's doing, his performance rating and so on. Formations tab, you can change formations on the fly. Uh, and similarly, tactics. Uh, there's a robust tactics system. There are millions of variations of tactics that you can now do on the tactics tab. Again, all on the fly while the game's running. And finally, the man marking tab, where you can assign a, a marker to a danger man who's tearing you to pieces or whatever. And so you can you can do all of these uh, features in single player, but uh, the way you guys were showing it off today was uh, in cooperative mode, yep. right? I, I had one of the pro controllers and I was playing, like I've been playing FIFA for years, and then there was another guy who was sending guys on runs, yep. right? Yeah, so that's kind of falling in line with the demographic of where the Wii U is, is more of a family kind of entertainment console in the corner of the living room. Now, one of the cool things about the gamepad is uh, it's touchscreen. So what that does from a gaming perspective, it really allows people to get into gaming like, like never before. You know, if you give a, a controller to a non-gamer, they're a bit like, what on earth is all this? What do all the buttons do? You give a touchscreen and it's instantly something they, they can associate with. So for us on FIFA, it was key that we utilize that touchscreen and really kind of changed the game and allowed users who previously didn't consider themselves gamers the opportunity to kind of dip their toe in FIFA. Because FIFA now looks like football, real football, it sounds like real football, but they perhaps couldn't get into it because of that Twitch gaming barrier. We dubbed it dad and son mode with the kind of the, the thought that, you know, dad can sit there, use his footballing brain because he loves football, send players on runs, make all the changes, participate in FIFA and have fun with his son, daughter, whoever, but not have the pressure of a Twitch gamer. So it, right. re it really kind of opens up the, the world of FIFA to a lot more casuals and hopefully makes it a much more kind of like social family experience as well. Yeah, I think it would be great for people who aren't familiar with FIFA, but if you are very familiar with FIFA, there's also a lot of new options in there, right? Like you were talking about the manager mode, yeah. um, you know, on the fly you can create substitutes instead of going into a pause menu, right? Yeah, a lot of that is in FIFA, but what you find is because it does break the game up, people uh, don't really use it that much because it's just like, oh, it takes so long. Sure. So I think it'll really be a game changer in the sense that now you've got a lot more control without breaking up the flow. So you'll see people tinkering with the tactics and changing formations after a goal goes in. So a much more fluid and ever-changing game of FIFA. Right. There's also the shake and shoot yes. control, right? Tell yep. us about that. So that's one of the thing, that's one of the gameplay features that where we want to revolutionize around the single player. Shake and shoot, as we kind of dubbed it, is one of those options. Purely optional, you can use the existing shooting mechanic if you want. But what you can also do now is just give the uh, gamepad a quick shake or press the L3 stick. There's two ways to trigger it. And then that will show a uh, picture of the net on the touch screen. And it's as intuitive as where you press is where you will try and shoot. Um, so um, it really puts a lot more um, control in the hands of users and ultimately a lot more satisfaction. If you go through, clean through and, and feel like you put that ball in the top corner rather than just pressing shoot and it going there, it's ultimately a lot more rewarding. So it, it makes the game a lot re more rewarding as a result. So okay. one of the things we think uh, hardcore gamers will like is um, in career mode, currently in 360 PS3, you've just got two options, play match or sim match. Once you've hit sim, your participation ends. So what we think a lot of hardcore gamers will like about that is just to go in as manage the match so they can kick back, watch it, kind of do something else at the same time. Um, but then if it's not going well, they can go to select sides and, and intervene basically. So right. from a hardcore perspective, I think manage mode will, will have a lot of appeal in that sense. Yeah, and are all these features going to translate to the online play for the Wii U? 
uh, we had to lose three of the tabs in the online environment. So their formations, tactics, and man marking. So you still got the big three. You still got the the gameplay tab and the manager tab with all the stats and sending players on runs. So there's obviously a lot of new stuff. Yep. Um, is this on feature parity with the PS3 and 360 versions? Um, so what we have to do is just like building anything, you have to lay the foundation, and it has to be solid and unmoving in on order in order to which to build on. So one of the things we have to do is take the code base of 316 PS3 at a point where it's solid um, and build on top of that. So we have to pick a point in time to take that. So it's not 12, it's not 13, it's kind of somewhere in between. It's got all the key core things like the physics engines rendering and all the rest of it. Some of the things you see that are brand new to the uh, 360 PS3 version, we, are, we weren't able to get in because they are continually changing. Sure. Okay, and when does the game come out? So the game is a launch title, so you'll be able to get your fix of FIFA uh, as soon as the Wii U launches. Awesome, and the PS3 and 360 versions? Uh, that is out on September 26th, I believe. All right, yeah. cool. Matt, thank you very much. You Sorry. guys can uh, keep up with all the coverage here at the EA Summer Showcase right here on youtube.com slash rev3games. Thanks a lot.